Burner is widely used in the industry. Today, I'm going to build an LPG burner. Firstly, I found steel pipe which have the external diameter of about 2.4 inches and the internal diameter of 53.5 mm. The steel pipe was originally around 2 feet long, but all I need was only 200 mm. So, I have to cut the pipe using the cut of abrasive saw. And this is the steel pipe with length of 200 mm. After that, I have made a collar with internal diameter of 13 mm through the turning process. This collar is actually used to hold a gas nozzle and it need to be placed at the center of the steel pipe. So, a hole is going to be drilled at the collar and also thread tapping in order to hold a gas nozzle. I have picked a 6.5 mm drill bit and also an M8 tapper to tap the hole with the aid of thematic cutting fluid. As I mentioned earlier, the nozzle needs to be placed at the center. So now, I'm gonna drill a 8.5mm hole and also another two 6.5mm hole and later tap with the M8 tapper. The distance of the hole from the bar end is 65mm. This is how I hold the gas nozzle in place. I have found a leftover 12mm gas tubing. And now, it is time to make the gas nozzle using the brass. The head of the nozzle is drilled with a 0.8mm drill bit. As you can see, After the finished returning process using the lead, the nozzle is hammered into the gas tubing. Besides, I also made an end cover, which is distance adjustable. When everything is ready, time to compound everything together. The LPG burner, for me, masterpiece. The end cover is actually used to control the amount of air entered the pipe. Other than that, I have bought a high pressure regulator from the hardware store for only $48. So now, let's roll. LPG burner. Thanks for watching.